<laughs> so uh, we we cut a deal with Marie last week, and um, we obviously have these awesome new 3D printers that we've got in stock, and um, so we want to show all of our awesome customers how easy they are to use and how much cool weird stuff you can print with them so so thank you Marie and uh, so we're gonna start some sort of like video Facebook YouTube kind of like what will marketing print next kind of a campaign and take um, like suggestions and requests from our customers and go find stuff to print and uh, have some sort of contest around it or something like that and send people all the cool weird stuff we print. At some point, I'm printing the skull that I have heard about on this NPR podcast that I've been talking about for like two months now. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, uh, let's start unboxing and see what we come up with. Yes. All right. Yeah, definitely. Woo! Very cool. So do you um, have any insights into like 3D archives on the internet where we can we always okay. used one, one of MakerBot because yeah. that was the product we were using um, it was called yeah, Thingiverse I believe called what? Thingiverse oh, yeah. um, back in like um, and it has a bunch of like free um, STL files which is the file format that you use to actually print stuff with mm -hmm. and uh, you just download them load them into the system and then it prints it out Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that's that. Clicks right in. And do we have to uh, feed it all push, the way Push filament between the front of cartridge and the eyelet through the feed tube and up to the print jet. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, look at that. Look at it go. Wow. It's like a catheter. <laughs> <laughs> Can we print yes. that? Yes. Oh, always. That's from the 80s. Oh, is that little dot it? It's not going to stay a dot. Oh, cool. And we are in business. There is printing happening. Oh, this is going to be a big one. You hear that cool sound? Sound of technology. Making some more headway into our uh, first 3D printed skull. You can see the bottom of the, the jaw there back of the cranium. Making progress. That's at the top. <laughs> it's all right. All right, let's get it right here. All right, so it's uh, about 5.30. This thing's been going for several hours. Um, this guy does take a long time. It's not a fast printer, so you know, you might want to set it overnight, move on to do what you gotta do, and then come back, because uh, it's not it's not an instant pop popcorn kind of a gig. Alright, it's time to see if uh, this skull made it overnight. It's been printing all night. Hi, Gabriel. Go check it out. Oh, there's Elisa. Hi. There's Susie. All right, let's go. This is Jared. Is it in there? Ah, <laughs> uh, look at that. Left overnight to its own devices. In the morning, a tiny human skull. Good job, Cubex. So you took your skull? Nice. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Mm-hmm.